Hello boys and girls, today we are going to be doing a project dealing with symmetry. You may have noticed the alphabet cursive chart that is above this link, and I also have some time-lapse videos of me doing the same project, um, but just obviously very sped up using my own name, Angela. The first thing you're going to do, especially if you have a longer name, you want to fold your paper hot dog style. So. If you have, let's say, first name Ava, that's only three letters. I would fold it hamburger because you would have not as many letters to go all the way across. So if you have four or more letters in your name, fold it hot dog. Take your two corners at the top, you're going to line them up and then go down and karate chop across. The first thing you're going to do is use your pencil. I already had written my son's name in cursive there, but I'm going to make sure that I have a lot of lead from my pencil on, and you'll find out why this is so important. If you don't have enough lead on the letters, the transfer is not going to work. So. Take your time, go over your letters, and make sure that you are having enough of the graphite or lead in your pencil to go over. Your letters will probably get a little wider, which is okay. All right, so once you are finished tracing a few lines with a nice amount of pressure on your cursive name you'll notice i made sure to have my name touch the line of symmetry which is the fold this fold acts as the mirror reflection of our name so the next step i need to dot his eye here and i made a heart you can have fun and do different shapes and symbols. Once you have this step done, you're going to take your paper again and you're going to have the name on the bottom, or actually I think the better way to do it is have the name on the top and then fold it again. You can kind of see through the paper where my name ended up, but there's two different ways to do this. The first way is to use the marker that we're going to trace our name with, the black Sharpie, or a black marker will work as well, and put a nice firm pressure. You'll see this in my time-lapse video. When you open it up, you can start to see the reflection on the other side of the paper. This just transfers so that you know you'll have a symmetrical look. Then, after you do one letter at a time. Usually it's a lot easier and more helpful to do one at a time so that you're capable of going and taking your pencil to trace exactly the same shape, size, and letter that you did on the other side. If we don't spend the time to do this process, then we won't have it be symmetrical. I'm gonna go again and go over each letter again so that the graphite or lead is transferred, transferred mirror on the other side. It's a really easy process. If it's challenging in any way, the one thing that you could do is take this up to the window and have it be on the window while you are looking and tracing here, but actually, let me see something. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. So if you fold it this way, you can see up at the window and trace over, but I do think that this is going to be your most successful and easy way to do the transfer if you just take your paper, fold it in half, and use the cap of our marker to apply that pressure. When you're finished doing the transfer, that's when you can take your black marker and trace over it. You'll see that in the time-lapse video as well. So I'm gonna just start to trace over. 
making sure that I'm being careful to stay on my nice cursive letters. If you make a mistake, turn it into a beautiful oops. I'm not worried about that, and you shouldn't be either. Then you'll see that now that I transferred, I can see the other side of my letters, and I know that it is symmetrical. When you finish this step, the fun begins with the amount of detail you get to add to make your name actually turn into a mask and a creature from your name. Here we go. So now it doesn't just look, let's see here, like a name, it's going to become a creature. You can add details with your pencil to start. I always think it's a little easier to make sure that you're not just jumping in and adding detail that isn't the same. If you can eyeball and make sure that you see the other side where it should be symmetrical, you can do that. Although in order for us to really truly get that line of symmetry down the center here and it be the same on both sides, you may wanna take that extra added step to transfer the detail this way. In my time-lapse video, I did not do that. And guess what, boys and girls? I learned the hard way because I wasn't 100% symmetrical. So instead of getting upset about it, I just had to add more so that I could make it symmetrical. So you can see that it starts to take its own shape and form. I did my eyes, I have some wacky mustache looking here and some horns. I can't wait to see how your name all of a sudden turns into a creature as well. If you have any questions, don't forget you can always visit me on my office hours and pause or go through the video again. I generally think the capital letter for the part of our first name just kind of calls for where the eyes are. Look at this, looks like eyebrows. That could be a silly looking owl. I'm excited about that. All right, I can't wait to see your creations. Have fun with this one and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.